what is good what is good good evening and hope you are all well it's your boy koshudo welcome to another nice little humble stream posted by me so you already know how this is if you've been in the stream you know this is what we do we have a little intro see who's online press a couple of buttons and we just enjoy our day <laughs> But not seriously, all jokes aside, um, yeah, having a good day. Had a pretty uh, decent day at work. Decided uh, to take a break the other day. I was super tired. Sometimes it'd be like that. But um, yeah, today's a brand new day. Decided, you know what, I have to have a short little day of rest. Come on, press buttons. Hope to have a little fun. Expect to probably win some, lose some. And See how things go. So, before I actually, uh, before I actually do that, let me see who is in the dojo. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, what a surprise! No one is really on. Well, Meth is on. Meth's always cool, but no one else is on. Curious. All good. Um, we'll just mash buttons and see who we can sit I don't know what I just said there, but uh, I meant to say, let's see who can, we can see or play. You know how that goes. So word on the street is that Luke is going to be dropping soon. Luke. Luke. No, he won't be from Star Wars. He will be Capcom's final edition to Street Fighter V. And um, in case you didn't know, you haven't followed any highlights, he's a... MMA war, but as far as who he's linked to, no one really knows about his lineage. Some think that he's going to be uh, somehow linked to Alex or Guile or Nash. Couldn't really tell you. And right now, it doesn't really matter. I just want him to be fun. Just want him to be fun. And not be too top tier, but fun. And speaking of tiers, let's see what we do against Mr. Nakali. It's not always the best matchup for me, but yeah. It is what it is. Round one. Stone. Fight. Hey, okay. Is he just sitting there? Uh. Are done? Yeah. Nah. Nah. Okay. And I know it's not my connection. I don't know. Maybe he was down. At the door getting pizza or whatever. I don't know. Don't matter. Yeah, I knew that was coming. DP. How does guy get the platinum? I don't know. That was not fun. But if this is going to be the day, I'm going to have to go get some. And you know what? The feeling was mutual. You was mashing like you are mashing hardcore. 
hardcore. So, yeah. I didn't want to play you again anyway. Ta-ta. I think I'll take this moment, even though I still don't have ads yet because I'm not an affiliate. But you know how I could be? If y'all do me a solid, hit the follow button. If you hit follow, then I get to 50. You see that little bar on the bottom? I need your help. Hit follow. You hit follow. I can make affiliate. Do other good those stuff. You know, pretty sure no other that goes. That's my plug. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. I don't know if I'm gonna get one of those energy drinks. I'm not gonna say the name because I'm not getting paid for that. But I'm gonna take a break. And when I return, maybe we can find people from the dojo. Like at least like two or three people. Stick around. I return shortly. And we'll go from there. Ta -ta. Okay, I have returned. There's a, that guy, I... So no real shade, but if you're platinum, you shouldn't be mashing that much. So I don't know what that guy, well, I don't know what he was on. 
all I know is that he was mashing, and it's appropriate for the stream title for today. Mash it up. He was definitely mashing. It's almost like I spoke that into his existence. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't really know. Don't really care. Just don't want to see that again. You don't need to be mashing. You don't need to be doing that. Yeah. Just say no. <laughs> Just say no. Um, yeah. All right. I'm not going to want to be sitting at the title screen all day. That gets kind of boring. So... Let's take a page out of one of my boys' book, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit the lab for a little bit. Might as well. Saku Castle. Dash. I'll show no mercy for you. Go beyond the battle. For you. But yeah, um... I'm just talking about Luke. Um... I mean, he could be promising. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not a... I'm not a big King of Fighters fan, but you know, I respect their art style. Um, they're very personable, you know. One thing I have to say about the uh, people from the SNK series is that they have a lot of personality. They definitely have a lot of personality. And um, I don't know what to say yet with Luke. I really don't. But. He could be fun. I mean, I can't really imagine them taking their final slot and making him dull. I just can't. I really can't see that. But he, he apparently has big plans, at least according to what Capcom said, um, that he's going to be a significant character who has a bright future. And when I hear bright, a lot of people have been basically claiming, you know, bright. When you think of bright, you think of stars. Stars are bright. Um, so, could he be uh, some type of descendant leading to, uh, or ancestor, however you want to put it, uh, to Captain Commander? I don't know. But apparently, whatever it is that they're planning, Luke is going to be involved. Uh, that was terrible. Um, I don't, I don't have my shortcut set in here. So I don't know. I really don't know what they're planning on doing with him. But uh, he's one of the characters that his special moves literally sling them back. It's kind of like the way Rose used to have a reflex. So he apparently is going to propel them back. A couple of characters can do that. Um, it's like a it's like a mix of a grappler with. And ability to, to deflect the projectile. So that's why I see the angle of Nash. I mean, not Nash, Alex or whatever. I mean, uh, but I, I don't really know. Like, he just, I had a guy in the Discord, you know, and I was just kind of backing on him and whatever. And the guy was like, he's an MA. And I was like, tell me more. And I was being sarcastic because I knew that it was MMA fighter. I just think his design is bland. You look at, you look at how they designed the other characters. You look at Nash, you look at Rue, you look at, you look at Oral, okay? Um, just, the designs are cool. I look at this and I'm like, what is this? Like, how long did it take y'all to come up with this character? Really? But I would love to be wrong because I'm pretty sure that, I mean, no one really talks about Street Fighter 3 that much other than that moment that happened, um, fighting game tournament Evo. Um, you know, but they had a lot of cool characters back then. We had, we had Remy, we had, um, we had Necro, we had, um, geez, why can't I remember other people? Makoto! Not new characters, their designs were cool. And I don't really feel that, um, I don't really feel that we got that with Mook. I really don't. So... I don't know. I'm sure that from now, a month from now, I'll be like, oh, you know what? Luke is amazing. I don't feel like that right this moment. But it's too early 
because I haven't seen them. You know what I mean? So I have to do the other version. Oh, great. This is one of those combos. One of those combos I don't want to drop the match. That's why I don't do it. Huh, let me see something. Yeah, that does some combo. That does, though. This is one of those combos that it, it looks cool. For 409 damage, you know, even I can do a jump in. It's not something I want to drop, and that's why I don't really do it. I don't like dropping combos in matches, so I go what's optimal, but what I can do consistently. That's why I don't do that one. So it's it's whatever. Um, yeah, he's definitely a Gen Z Zoomer, uh, Red. I would definitely agree with you. Ah, uh, Ninja Zeku. Let those fights. Let those fights that go. It's time to party. If you can keep up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That sounds like a uh, Smurfy character. So, curious to see how it's going to play out. If you stand in my way, I will kill you. Let's round one. Team, and let me enjoy something. He's say, let's party. Come on. Turn into, into young Ziku. Okay. Let's go. Three, two, three. I was pretty sure I that. I'm just waiting for him to teleport. Come on, teleport. I know that's what you want to do. And he has B skill too, so that means if I jump in the wrong way, he gets a free punish. Nah. Second. Okay. Uh, round two. Clean uh, Zeku, but I knew that's what he was looking for. We all do that. Most of them are like prefer to use the young one. They do slide, then they go for grab, and that's it. It's just it's 
whatever. <laughs> Round one. I don't even uh Fight. I don't even really get salty when I lose this matchup now. Poke, poke. Yeah, buddy. That's what you fucking get. Oh, sorry, Twitch. Can't say that. <laughs> I don't have time for round two. Keep dancing. because I came back. That's all, dude. You're just mad. like that. You go on. I already know what you're doing. You are looking for the jump. Not stupid. Counter hit was so good. So freaking good. Man. That was crazy. I wanted him to teabag me some more so that I could actually kill him, but I actually have to laugh at you to that because he tried to be slick before. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna just dance on the other side of the corner and I'm gonna win. And he got pooped on. He's definitely going those accounts. Ah, oh, what a surprise. I knew it. I was like, nobody's making that type of name, and you're legitimate what they are. You just made your account. You're not for anybody. Probably somebody that was at Grandmaster level, doesn't have people that he could find online. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna start again. It's fine. I ain't mad at you. But don't be like, trying to come on and acting like you're some uh, high level tournament champion and then have the nerve to try to troll people. Like, finish your plate, because if you, you do that to me and you're not you're not on point, yeah, I'm gonna come back, and that's why I'm here to do that. So, whatever. There you people like that, I like legit blacklist them, because you're wasting my time. That's what the normal real Zeku players that aren't trying to do anything, they just play, and that's it. But uh, that was pretty poetic that he tried to sit there and dance at the side of the corner and was like, oh, I'm gonna win. 
and he lost. That in itself is a nice moral victory for me. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> that guy was that guy was funny. Low key, this is the reason why I don't I really care about um playing ranked like the way I used to or even characters the way you used to. I'd rather play with people I know. I'll train with them, help them level up. I level up other people I play in the process, but because that's how it is, man. People people online take the joy out of it sometimes. So yeah. I remember for a time I would see so many Ryu players and they would um uh, I've actually played this guy before. He's probably on T-Bag too. That's all these guys lately do. Round one. It's annoying. Fight. And all these extra buttons, man. I'm just gonna waste his meter. You better kill me. You better kill me. Now you have nothing. Damn it, I messed that up. You and I'm gonna be lame you like everybody win. else normally does to me and one and done you. Maybe we should invite you to our Discord so we can teach you how not to do the same freaking stuff all the time. Nah, I'm not gonna be mean like that. <laughs> GG's. Um, what are we saying? Yeah, a lot of people like to tea bag, you know. I mean, look, look truth be told, I've done it to people after they've been straight up jerks to me in the game and that's that's my way of just like okay you know like whatever i like the one that um uh what was his name jimmy he played against um this guy um i'm still daddy he literally just he just stared him down it was pretty crazy um 
but I, I normally try to exercise self control to not do that to people, you know. You have to really, really get under my skin to do that. Otherwise, I'm like, nah. I, so I used to taunt back then, you know, but I never, I would never do this. Didn't do it. You know, that was unheard of, you know, and that came from shooters. Then they decide to do it in fighting games, I'm just like, eh, whatever. Um, so it's just like, yeah. But, um, yeah. A lot of people would agree to me. I mean, yeah, it's good to play people that are, are better than you and whatnot. Um, because you're, you know, you're only as good as your competition, but there's a lot of people, they just, they just take the fun out of stuff now. And that's, that's a legit reason why I don't go so hard on it, because I'm just like, whatever, you know, you play, you win, you play, you lose, it's just like, whatever. Yes, they did do a first attempt. They did. Uh, I hope this connection's gonna, I, I have a bad feeling it's not gonna be, but whatever. <laughs> Bow down before my psycho. Nah, I prefer not to. Let's go, psycho. Fight! Wow, really? Nice. The gas. I suggest you stay right, let's down. see if he adapts. Round two. Fight. Now you have no meter. Not safe. You. you win. Ah. Now you already know that that matchup is not that easy, but I don't know what that guy was doing. Maybe he just wasn't expecting it and he's probably gonna adapt and kick my butt now. <laughs> Round one. Fight. I'm gonna go switch it up. Nice. Alright, he's gonna do the double stomp again. Nice. Yeah, he's got the range. Reverse. Down. 
final round. You lose. Alright. I have to mix up with the overhead because he's fishing for Fierce. The Fierce is plus for him. So I just have to backdash out of that and punish that. That's Round what I'm gonna one. Do. He's gonna do it again. Fight. I knew he was going to go for that, too. That was actually a good play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that was actually a good play, but I, I had to laugh there. <laughs> oh, man. That's my evil boss laugh. <laughs> oh, man. You like that, right? That's that was the uh, that was the evil boss laugh. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that, that was actually that was good. I had to really work for that because um, he was trying to put out the same type of uh, um, offensive pressure that I was doing, and uh, and I was kind of concerned. I had questions. <laughs> I had questions. Uh, let me retreat and see if I have people that are online. Yeah. Let me see. Favorite fighter profile. David fighter profiles. Oh, look who's on. Danza. Dan. Za. The Dan. Best charge! Okay. Um. Alright. This is what we'll do. We're gonna make a room. We're gonna invite people. 
and we're gonna see if they come in. Sounds legit. Right? I think it's legit. Why well, do I do that? I'm gonna cut to a very short break. Hopefully they'll come in. We'll play. We'll watch them. I'll do a little commentary and go from there. Cool? Alright. Stay tuned. And we're back. As you can see, I have some new challengers, but they will not be playing me, at least not yet. They're going to play each other. So yeah, in the room joining us tonight, we have Mr. Methusa, hailing from the international borders versus Denzel Bro. Let's go. This will be our first two three. No holds barred. Character oh, lock. No, it's not really character lock. But they will be fighting first to three. Let's see how they do. Don't you just love load times? I don't. 
said no one. No one likes slow times. No one. Absolutely no one. And I'm one of them. See, I, I blame meth user because he's like so far away. All right, so once again, we have meth user sticking with his traditional main versus Mr. Bean himself, Vega. Fight. Attack. So I'm gonna do a little, a little something different today. I'm not gonna just do regular right back play. I'm just gonna focus on uh, things that are reserved. So usually Danza is uh, actually a Zangief man. And apparently he's been in the lab playing with uh, Vega. So this is actually a nice change of pace. Of course, we already know for those of you that have followed the stream that um, we usually see. Uh, I'll turn this down real quick. Sorry. So usually you can actually see, um, um, geez, I lost my train of thought. You usually see Meth users use Lago traditionally just like he does, like as far as his setups and sort of target combos, you know, block up balls. Sometimes they're random, sometimes they're not. Um, but seeing them actually play Vega is a big change of pace and stuff because it gives him the type of mobility that he lacks with a grappler. So far, this match has uh, worked out pretty well for Matt, but it'll be curious to see how Danza makes any uh, proper adjustments. So he did attempt to anti air there. He actually missed that move. Very really scrappy. Definitely ready for that, so Meth is hope is that critical. Oh, he gets the throw! Nice reactivation, and he almost he almost got him. That was actually pretty solid effort. It's now tied up 1-1. That was actually uh, really good. There was like a lot of raw offense there. Up. This is this is what Meth does. He gets you in the corner. He makes you think he's gonna do one move. Takes you off the throw. Usually, actually has up ball on lock. And then he goes for a rock evasion, which is a nice uh, hokey setup to try to do something. However, Danza was not hearing that. He says, "No, sir, not on my watch. I can do this all day." Vega wins. Nice work. He gets one the first round. First, uh, first match in the set in the first to three. has to be a little bit more precise with uh, some of his uh, anti-airs. But I do like the OP setup. He doesn't have the claw now, so that uh, gives him the option to commit command throw. He takes the go for it again, fakes him out, and gets the slide. Takes him round one, number one. Round two. Point. Vega's actually a pretty fun character for a lot of people um, that understand the character, know their spacing, know how to be annoying, because that's what Vega excels at. It's surprising the uh, Lens is not hitting him with the uh, sliced uh, anti-air uh, move, which is done with the fierce. But he's definitely paying attention to the openings of now. He's actually a pretty good match. Oh, he's trying to get him in the slide. That actually is unsafe. Goes for the follow-up and succeeds in the second go. All right. 
Uh, this was a bit of a pattern. I'm not sure if Method is actually catching on to that. He doesn't have his claw, so he actually has a slightly uh, smaller uh, hitbox there. Oh, he was paying time to grow, and Map's gonna take full advantage of that and tie it up. Well done. Final round. All right, final round now on the way. I see ya. Nice. I've said it many times before, um, the main thing I feel, a critical move that Meph is, uh, is missing in his toolbox is the anti-care, where uh, basically Blanca just sticks his hands up in front of him and he just clips you. You try to jump in, he says no, you lose damage. All right, Danza is definitely swinging for the fences here. He tries to go for the throw. He didn't leave it up for the beat. He just, he just did it. <laughs> he just did it. Meth allowed him. He says, sure, I'll take yellow currency. Not a problem. So uh, Danza might very well get a sweep, which is surprising because I was not aware that Danza used Vega. This is a huge contrast from my grab one. This is actually uh, pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. Hopefully, Meph will be able to stop him and be uh, pretty, pretty bad to see him go, you know, go out with a sweep. That's never good. You know, sweeps sometimes they happen. You've seen tournaments, you've seen the streams, they happen. And this pressure is like pretty consistent. And, and again, like I said, Meph is just missing the anti air. If he did that, if he was essentially able to contain Vega's momentum, um, Danza would have to just work a whole lot harder. But it just seems that actually right now, Danza's uh, attack strings and uh, his momentum is being uncontested. Oh, so he gets the crush counter. I uh, see, I feel like a tilt is in progress. Not already. And that's... What good hit confirm. Wow. He takes round number one. Huh. Round two. Crazy. Okay. Yep, we all in progress. And it's definitely YOLO. In progress. <laughs> Uh, I like the whip there. Once again, he takes advantage of the uh, command blow. All right, just... All right. This is not putting him in more striking distance to punish, but Danza says no. He takes that cleanly. 3-0. Wow. us with his presence <laughs> oh what am i doing i'm not playing because i'm eating now i didn't know that but i am and uh i'm going to the back where i belong all right good stuff good stuff to danza where, where's this vega come from you're not a vega player you're not a Vega player, but lo and behold, you're playing Vega. Hmm, riddle me this. It's all good, man. And the best thing I can tell you, my friend, is do laps before you play. Work on your muscle memory. It confirms. The main thing, my friend, you got to anti air people. You, you let a lot of people in. You know? 
I know you know about that button because I've seen you do it before where Malaka sticks his hands in front of him and he points up. That's his anti. You have to use that. You should not be letting people in your perimeter at all. Well, that's all. I understand it's your, your first match, but I feel you could have took that if you uh, consistently anti it just a little bit more and then, like, really looked for him to advance, like, when he's, like, walking, because obviously if he's walking, it's a lot harder to block and walk. Unless he does micro walk. So, and now, behold, behold, Zangief. My iron body is invincible, so round So one. he brought out the big guns just for right. Chad. He should feel honored. Aww. Turn to be back. All right. Okay, tried to get the confirm off the low ruffian kick. Ooh, he was expecting the jump. That's like, no, nah, you know what? I've seen your playbook. All right. That was pretty solid. He looks like he's leaning off a little less off the Zonk Knuckle. Um, I'm definitely more cognizant of what his options were. Playing the mid-screen. He wasn't very scrappy with the uh, with the normals. So not a bad first uh, first effort to take the round number one. Oh, I see you, Danza. I see you. You're doing your micro walks. He is looking for those openings. All right. That, that's the thing against geek players. Like, you cannot drop moves. If they do not hit confirm, expect them to uh, to do that. Because in Russia, grab hurts you. Oh, okay. That was solid. That was solid, my friend. I like, I like. Quite tricksy. Cody wins. Well done. That probably would even caught me. I, I cannot lie. That was pretty good. That was quite the setup, man. Round one. Fight. I like the bounce. Take note of how Chad is positioning his tornado attacks. That was a nice effort to try to uh, get him up the sand. All right. Trying to space him out with his uh, standing uh, hard kick. That was good evasion there with the V-ship out of the, of the break. Okay, the thing is, he has to watch for these because uh, Danza is sitting on uh, sitting on one stock of meter, which he just used. So Chad's health is uh, running at critical. He has to make sure every hit counts here. Try to go for the hard activation. Doesn't pay off. Round two. Point. See, that B skill is very tricksy because it absorbs a move. I, I feel it's not quite as scary as B skill one, but both of these uh, B skills uh, are threatening. If you don't look out for them. All right, that was a good B reversal. Once again, keep in mind that B reversals are not necessarily invincible. Uh, they can basically be reversed. Um, you can get reversal open up by basically just throwing uh, form reaction. All right, he's uh, slowly trying to chip away that meter. The Anza stars are healthy leads, so he cannot afford to get hit like that. Danza said, not in my house, I will be Don't tying this up. Win. All right. We have ourselves a match, folks. We have ourselves a match. Yes, sir. It's what the people want to see. Give them what they want. Give these people air. Round one. Round one. Round one. 
Got some total recoil for those who are too young to remember that. <laughs> Come on, go Higgin. You just need to air. See, I like what Dan's just trying to do. The thing is, Chad's just not falling for it. It just kind of just, it just gives Dan's the ability to upload the move, but he hasn't been able to successfully connect. Chad just interrupted. He's going to go into the critical art, and that is almost going to kill him. All right, Chad's still sitting on a... Uh, he has the opportunity to close it out. He's got to be careful, and he gets it. Takes round number one. Good stuff. Okay. So rare hit confirm off from the uh, jump of beers. Follows up the target combo. Denzo's locked in. One more hit and he's stunned. Good solid pressure from Chad. I really actually like the confidence, especially when he gets a E player at that. The one is a confidence Danza. Very, whoa! Easy there, sir. Easy. Easy there. We got hiccup rooms like that? Okay, I see you. I see Cody you. Wins. Wow. I see you, sir. <laughs> he, he hit that twice from a distance. Like, yo, shout outs. The hurt boxes. Chad said, Yeah, we got those. Round one. Fight. All right, right now into game number three. It is tied. Well, it was tied until so Chad said, You know what? This is my house, okay? I don't care what y'all do in Russia, okay? I don't care if you grab me. Like, I don't fear your command grabs. In fact, I know, I know I could, but I don't care. Oh! Oh! The cross-up, he's gonna follow up, and this is gonna hurt. Uh, it got hurt a lot. Damn. I felt that from here. <laughs> Bingo! Um, yeah, you don't want to get caught by too many of those, and I, I respect the effort Danza, Danza thought that he was going to jump, and now he has stepped up the aggression up to 11. See, I didn't say 9,000 yet, but he's getting there. Power levels are increasing. He is sitting on full meter. Surprisingly, he is not using his resources. I spoke too soon. Godspeed, Chad. Godspeed. Damn. The damage. Why you have to do him like that? Why you have to do that, Tanza? Huh? Was that necessary? Well, of course it is. It's the first of three. Both players are now tied up. It's anybody's game. But damn. Round one. All right. Fight. This is the potential final match for either player. This is for all the marbles, so to speak. And damn, we got damage like that. Um. Red alert. Okay. Yeah, I get you with the low roughing kick. The thing is, he just has to, yeah, like that. Oh, he could have got another one. Follows up again, once again, with the EX Zop Knuckle. Uh oh, he's gonna punish him hard for the. Oh, he whipped! How did he do that? How? He, oh, I saw a complete whip. Next thing you know, he's like, nah. He's like, yo, can I, can I get another go? Okay. Uh, this is not where chat wants to be. 
You do not want to be in a corner when you are facing the D. Okay, that was good. That was better. That was optimal. Oh, he caught him with the clock. He caught him. That was like, uh, watch your feet. Bingo. That's gonna, uh, yeah, he is done. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Not yet. That's how I am. Final round. This is the final, final right. round in this first of three set. Oh, we got those. My face. Out. Oh, he got the whiff. It wasn't a clean B skill that slowed down time, but he evaded it. Okay, he needs to take full capitalization of this. Good use of the resources there. He confirms again. One more hit. And Danza is stunned. It hits there. And it is done. Oh, my God. No. Face check is in the building. Cody wins. Damn. Face check. Making a statement here tonight. Wow. Base Chad, everyone. Put some respect on his name. Wow. Wow. Most impressive. Well done, sir. Well done. Chad, Chad's over there like, um, yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That was a great match. Ah, the real Blanc is here. Enter Blanca Sean. Welcome. Desk work just isn't my round one. All right, yeah. I am pretty curious to see how this is gonna go down. Dad's wasting no time. He draws first blood with the very first move, and he gets an answer it now two to two and a punish. Okay, ten seconds already off the clock, and Mev's health was already depleted down to fifty percent. Wow, we are not wasting any time. Okay. It's not looking good for Blanca Chan. Oh, he said, get that out of here. You know, you know, other people might act like they can command grab. I'm just not one of them today. Too bad. He did attempt to go for the punish. He gets the solid activation. Okay, that is. Oh. Lockables are punishable. He whipped, but he still made up for it. Cody wins. All right. That was a uh, pretty quick uh, set and stuff for uh, the first game. In his first to three. Well, let's go, Meth. We we know you can you can adapt. Like we, we've seen it before. We, we know you can make the adjustments. Round one. Let's go. Fight. moves just so y'all know uh, each character has two versions of that you can delay the um, recovery by rolling back or you do the quick recovery which is what Chad's been doing that's why I keep saying sucker sucker 
That's what that is. They don't enunciate anything if they just do the traditional recovery. Okay, you try to go for that Zonk Knuckle. Alright, Mep is unfortunately blocking you with his face. That's not a good look. Okay, we clearly have anti airs. That is a solid confirm. Like, you can't get any cleaner than that. You just can't. Okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, we clearly have those. We clearly have those. Chat is making statements tonight. All right. Cody wins. Amazing. I don't know what he ate. I don't know how much sleep he got. What I do know is that base chat is in the building. Did y'all know that? He's in the building. Fighting hard, taking names, getting hit confirms, doing V-shift. It's amazing. Fight. Minstros, huh? I've never had that. Is that like, um, is that like first at Mini Weeks? Like, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Sounds like it could be tasty, but I, I don't know. All right, I am really liking the, the mix-up of the uh, normals. It's not a whole lot of wasted moves. A lot of times people do wasted normals, you know, fighting for a prayer. You know, like, oh, man, I, I, I hope I hit him. You know, hope so for weeks. That's not what Chad's doing. Like, his consistency has been pretty high tonight. But, you know, getting back to this natural roll, Mep goes for the roll activation. He tried to make something happen there. He still can. Both players are just about even. All right. Uh, and you got to watch for that. The, the crazy thing about that target combo is that it is so easy. It's literally jab, jab, jab. And then you can go into a combo of your choice. And if he wants, he can actually go into different moves because it has variations. But the strength is literally just jab, jab, jab. Like, go figure. Oh! Oh! That was trade, but the first time, he was like, nah, not my house. Let's go, Map! Come on, you can do it! No, not like this! Not like this! No! Damn. Cody wins. Damn. We got another soul, another sweep. That just happened. That really just happened. Damn. It's all good, Map. You'll get him next time. Yeah, I'll get him next time. All right, stepping back up to the plate, we have Mr. Dan Pro. Not pro, but bro. Danza bro. This would be a first to three. No holds barred. Really uncontested. In the Street Fighter Five Exhibition. Here we go. It's all good. Everybody has bad days. It happens. It's all good. Just shake it off. Hit the lab. Study the videos. You come back stronger. All right, so once again, Danza is not playing. He's like, you know what? I know I can play big guy, yes, but for you, you get the thing. big guy. Looks like I can have a little fun now. My iron buddy is round one. 
And someone was like, you know what? I've seen these intros before. I don't need to see them. I'm here, scrap. Definitely about to like let his his last attack rip. And Danza was like, nah. He's like, I I'm getting my move off first. Okay, there goes that easy peasy target combo. And Danza gets on point absorb. He parried that and said, no, sir. Ooh. And that is the move that I have seen all too many times in new plays. Chad is not trying to let this guy like get on some offensive tear. He says no. He is fishing to get this tied up and held. He just can't. He can't afford to get hit. Oh, and down. That was it. That is death. Yeah, that's that's death. Damn. So, uh, Danza said, uh, yo, I'm going to have to let you know that when I play Keith, I am coming to battle. And he took game number one. Well, let's see who wins game number two. It is anyone's game. Round one. Chad basically just has to counter. He has to counter. He has to basically make Danza whip uh, his V skill or even whip his command throw, which he just did. And that is essentially how you win that matchup. You have to be very careful with the moves that you do because whatever's unsafe, bro, he's trying to brother. Okay? Just like that. <laughs> he's just. He's like Thanos, man. He's like. He's like. All this, you know? He did all that for a little uh, drop of blood. <laughs> Allow me. You're, you're gonna have to shank him a little bit more than that. All right, here you go, shanky, shanky. Yeah, he, he, oh, he said up yours. Can, can you say that? Can you say that on the stream? Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. He said, uh, we got those. Easy peasy combo in progress. He attempts to counter all the reversal. Chad makes him win. And now he's being defeated. And Chad can now play. Oh, he gets it again. Oh. 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 Cody wins. Chad was like, behold. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Round one. players are just swinging for the fences and in this case uh danza is swinging at chad's neck to take that round damn damn why you had to do him like that round two I see you with those long knuckles. We are churning butter. Look at that. Oh. All right. Dan's is fishing. Oh. All he needs is to get him in the corner. And then he's going to do it. 
Oh man, Danza's like, you ain't going nowhere. I got three minutes of play time. Damn, man, he ain't even last long enough for me to do my monologue. He just died. He was all like, hey, freak show. You ain't going nowhere. All right, Chad, it's time to unleash your inner spider. Round one. It's time to show that wrestler Fight. man what you can do. Let's go. There you go. We'll just pretend those are webs. Like, web swing. Okay, we, we'll accept that. We'll take that too. Danza's right now, he's like Colossus. He's like, bro, you can you can throw whatever you want, but I'm thinking of you, all right? Check out these pets. Ooh. Oh, he tried to go for it right there, and then Shank was unleashed. Yeah, this might be a wrap for Danza. Oh, damn. He did it again. Round two. Yeah, those knives are deadly. That, that should not be legal in Street Fighter 5. Alright, five seconds early off the clock, and my man's already lost like close to 200 health off that one single command throw. Ah, oh, damn. Solid hit confirmed. Danza is gonna have to stop blocking this phase and start looking for his normals. Good back to back absorption there with the parries. Churn brother in progress to tie this up. No, oh, actually, nope. This is a wrap. This is a wrap. This is tied. Final round. Danza is not playing. Oh, that's how that's how you open up. He's like, yo, peep this uh peep my Tim's right here. Alright. Got the command bro. He's fishing for me. Thankfully, base shot doesn't have to defend. Hard to defend that, though. Oh, he, he's fishing. He, he is hoping that Chad does not know how to block. Oh, that was a solid overhead. All right, so Danza has to stop playing the autopilot because he keeps expecting everybody's going to jump. And that's why he ripped that EX uh, SPD in the air. Oh, he's, he's trying to go for it. He thinks it's Colossus, and this is gonna cost him. Base Chad, everyone. Base Chad, most impressive. It is now tied two games apiece. My man out here taking names with Cody. Round Cody, one. ladies and gentlemen. Fight. Not Kage, not Akuma, not Otto, not Zeku, Cody. Damn. Um, Denzo, you do have a block button. Well, you know, on the stick at least. Uh, this is, this is deep. Yo, what just happened? 19 seconds and he dead. I say he dead. The Colonel. Oh, my man, my man. Is, this is now rare footage of Danza actually getting angry at Bay Chad. Oh, he did that back to back. Bay Chad is taking full advantage of this. He's like, yo, come at me, bro. <laughs> he said, yo, come at me, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> take this combo. Cody wins. Wow, and just like that, yo, he he took the set. That was a really good set. That was damn. That was good. Cody was out there doing work. Let's see how uh how Mep does. I don't know if this will be his last game. So we will uh tag in a new challenger. Depending on who else is online. But uh that was pretty good. So 
That was damn good. Oh, man. was not expecting the matches to go down like that. In other news, my uh, my friend just let me know that apparently yes, Eternals is, is a hot mess. So I guess I would not be going to the news to see that. For Mep to actually win this matchup, um, he's just gonna have to be, yeah, he can't be doing too many moves like that. Fortunately for, uh, for Mep, Chad just doesn't really know how to punish it with his specials. Once he figures it out, that's like, that's death for him. A, uh, nice response to that move. Once again, he is on point, yo. To have the reactions to finish a blockable like that, much respect. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That took about at least close out the damage. All right, both players are trying to throw each other out, doing the shimmy dance. Here come the target combo. Oh, actually, excuse me. He went for the throw. Oh, but Mep said, uh -uh. it's time for you to be introduced to Command Grab. And he did. Let's go, Power of the Wild. Have to be careful. Alright, Meth is, um, his defenses are holding strong. Chad's been having troubles uh, opening him up, despite the fact he still has a healthy, uh, light lead. Uh oh, that was, that might do it. Get things done. Oh, he, he, yeah, he's trying to get in Guinness today. He's trying to get as many hit confirms or uh, anti airs that he can off the map. He's been pretty consistent so far, though. Only missed a few. Oh, that's the wrong range for that, sir. All right, that was a uh, good whip punish. About as close to a uh, instinctive read there. Oh, I guess the slide. Definitely need to see uh, Meth do more of those. He hasn't really been looking for uh, exposing Chad's uh, lower defenses. This is far more methodical than uh, how Chad was playing against uh, Danza. It's very interesting. Yeah, a lot more slower and uh, methodical. Blanco wins. And Meth gets one on the board. Let's go. Looks like, like that rustiness is uh, starting, to, starting to come off. So he does in the next, uh, the next game. Fight. Of uh, that's around the blocking balls, just trying to make stuff happen. 
Alright, target combo in progress. Actually, uh, doing a, a decent job. Catching the base shot offhand. Got the vertical ball. No, he tried. He started getting greedy, and Chad said, look, that's enough. Has one more gas, he goes to the V-Chef. He says, get off me. That's gonna have to be very hard to the move, and that cost him right there. Chad was ready. My man has been playing baseball. He says, I got my eye on the ball. In this case, it was block him. All right. Chad was like, oh, that's right, I have a projectile. I should probably use it, and he is. Basically extending his footsies to keep Mep at bay. Uh, I see Mep is actually trying to uh, utilize his V-Skill. It's not really the best uh, setup against uh, Cody. In fact, I almost never see people do you know, use that setup, but I respect the effort. Oh, he tried to get him. He tried to open him up. Chat said, nah, I actually know how to block. Cody wins. Wow. It's just really impressive to see that he's he's doing work tonight with Cody. Like you don't really Round see one. that match widely represented online, and yet here in this exhibition set, he's out here doing work. All right, you try to get him with the locker ball. It's like so tricky because you have to be basically paying attention to any forward movement. When you try to do it when they're at neutral, it's such a risk. All right, trying to connect him there. He goes back to back. Got a little greedy. I feel, I feel like he should mix it up with more strings and, if possible, try to fish for more throws. And then, after he feels that uh, Chad is being thrown off, that's when you throw, like, the horizontal block of balls. You punish like that. That was actually a good effort there. Ooh, that was a good punish with the standing medium kick. Or uh, punch, rather. All right, got the raw activation check. and not afford to make a wrong guess here. Up, oh, activation by Meth. Up. Oh. oh, man, that was good. He's like, watch your feet. Going low typically always works. You can't go wrong with that. Especially if they're not like Gao or anybody else that normally sits on down back. It's good. Five seconds on the clock, and my man's health. Like, I look down, I look back up, and 50% of this health was gone. What happened? What? What just happened? Shinra Chad has been unlocked. Clearly. All right, draws for his blood. Oh, try to go for his hand. Push counter. Almost got the wall bounce combo. Ah, oh, you gotta be careful now. Then he's not that safe, too. Alright, chat is working for another victory here. So I'll put him at set point. Ooh. Raw activation. Not sure if that was the right moment for that. Wow, uh, he's gonna go for the swing. It's risky. Cody wins. Don't think we're gonna get tired of saying it tonight, but uh, yeah, Chad's out here doing work. Oh, I thought that was uh, my bad. I said it was set point. 
My bad. Because I wasn't used to the match going so fast. He's just up by one. one game. Fight. So my apologies to Meth there. All right, let's turn to be back. Block that pass to get out of this corner. This is not a good look. Huzzah! Ah, man. Those, uh... Those raw Blanca balls being done at random, I feel is what's really killing uh, Neff the most. I feel like he just needs to be a little bit more lame and grimy, and that would definitely work more in his favor. Damn, I don't judge. Even Cody out there trying to tell me whether they suck. Like, you know, that, that's how you get nerfed, Cody. Better be humble. All right, there's the target combo I'm missing. I'm about to try to create more of those opportunities and um, basically defuse Chad's offenses here. And he's got attack. Okay, good use of the ball and try to go for it again. Now he at least has changed the sides. If he can manage to keep Chad locked in the corner, he might actually be able to tie this up and make something happen. Oh, that command throw was the night. Oh, from a standing jab. Gets him back in the corner. Can he close this out? Nice, and he does. Nice work. Bingo! out here with these combos with these throws he's like yo let me see how grimy i can be with uh we'll check that's what's going on and now cody has claimed vix Fortius. hey shack everyone I'm gonna take a very short break to see who else is online. And if there are more people, then we will uh, bring them in. We're actually gonna expand this room. That was actually a good effort by Mev. So saw some nice improvement there. And hopefully the next set that we're gonna run back, Mev will get a win under his belt for the entire set. Don't go away, guys. We'll be right back.
Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, we've expanded the room. We found ourselves a new challenger. We had a challenger leave. Uh, we're still trying, actually trying to get into more players, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for y'all. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna have Zest and Dancer kick it off for us. Just give me a moment, just let more players know they can start. Both players the green light. So as you can see, if you're paying close attention, the Zest Life is a Dowson player and actually a pretty efficient one at that for the current time he's been playing the game. There's a high possibility that Danza is gonna stick with his main. But I would love to be surprised. You're just now new to the stream and just tuning in uh, from yonder or wherever it is about that you come from. Hit the follow button if you're enjoying the stream, like our players, and haven't done the plug uh, for the entire stream as of yet, but we will be having our first official stream for our first to 10. It will be the uh, Golden Fist Sets uh, exhibition. At the tentative date right now is, uh, we set the 12th, but we may very well like to be pushing back to the 13th. So be sure to hit the follow button, stay Fight. tuned for the upcoming highlights uh, as they unfold. First match actually underway. All right, Dan's is wasting no time getting in the zone of Zeph Life. We'll see if air control can do anything about that. All right, and he actually succeeds. Goes for the overhead. Danza denies them with the quick reversal. Oh, raw activation. Catches him with the uh, Yoga Gale. Oh man, he's, he was trying so hard to get him with that, with that V trigger uh, massive fireball there. Didn't connect. So Danza race for another day. Okay. It's a tricky matchup for uh, Geek because, I mean, for one, he's bigger, makes him a larger target, and he's not as mobile. And this gives Zest a huge opportunity if he's not on point with his zoning. So far, he's done a uh, pretty decent job being able to maintain that. He has his uh, mid, mid range space covered. Danz is going to have to be a little bit more patient uh, if he's hoping to capitalize on this. And Zest Life is working on a seven golden letters, and he gets it. It's quite the way to make a statement when you join a lobby. I see you, sir. That is the first perfect of the evening. Can we say achievement unlocked? Leap. Achievement unlocked. So we're now moving to game number two. Fight. Zest Life making a convincing uh, win off of Danza in the very first game. Let's see if uh, he can make the proper adjustments. Red Thunder can happen again. He's already off to a good start compared to the last round. Like I said, he just has to be a little bit more patient about choosing his openings. Zest Life is denying it just about every corner. He's still trying to help me. Uh, he tried to get him and capitalize off of the uh, V-Trigger. It was a real activation. He just about in there. This is just about going to tie it up. He just needs one more. Can he make a connect? No, he doesn't. Oh. Watch yourself. Oh, he's trying to get the open and he gets it. Whoa. Whoa. Dance. With the clutch. Wait. Wow. Nice work. Somebody should clip that, actually. You know what? You don't have to clip it. <laughs> that was good. All right. Danza is back in the building. Oh, he tries to go for the whip, and, and Zeph says not. Nah, you know what, sir? Uh, I've learned the arts of V-Ship, and I'm not afraid to use it. 
Denza says, I don't care about your V shifts. In fact, you know what? Behold these grabs. Acting like he won't get command grab, acting like he won't get regular grab. In fact, take this lariat. How dare you get a perfect off of me? Pull this L for me. Wow. Welcome back. And just like that, Danza makes quick work off of his S life. I see you. That was amazing. Round one. Fight. Even. I apologize for the little bit of silence there. It was tending to a few matters uh, offline. And speaking to tending to matters, uh, Zep is uh, rather zest. It's just, I don't want what happened last match to happen again. So, uh, yeah, hold these yoga flames, uh, hold these uh, flexi, flexi punches. He's like, I need to survive. I have a family. Clearly, Danza does not care. He says, yo, stay in this corner and take these, uh, take these massive uh, punches here. I like that this is not playing the scrappy before. Uh, big shout outs to not activating critical art every time you get a Final knockdown uh, that's actually quite respectable and as such like he ties it up uh, he's got this offensive strategy on lock uh oh didn't catch that and so he uh, ate that crush downer oh once again all right good beat reversal Allows uh, Sim to live for a few more seconds. The counter with the standing jab. All right, Danza's got to watch his feet, and he's got to watch the air. He's a big target up in there. Ooh, really? Danza is trying to get in desperately. All right, goes for the reactivation. That cost him. It was a little bit off, and that's going to take the round for Mr. Zest. He now moves up two games to one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got ourselves a match, my friends. This is now game number four in this first of three set. Uh, I don't know where uh, where y'all come from, but uh, here in my neck of the woods, we believe in blocking, and Dan's is not doing that. And now Zest's not doing that because uh, Dan is trying to make something happen. He denies them, and just like that, he reverses it. Is he going to confirm? Oh, right, sir, what were you doing there? You you almost lost that. He, he could have, like, Round got out two. of that stun, activated the trigger and you would have been salty. Alright. So, Zest was trying to keep him at bay. Dan, Dan's really ballsy. He got, he got some major cojones. And being that he's a big guy, I'll let y'all do what you will of that image. But he's like, yo, I am here. Hear me roar. Oh, he tried to go for the roar and didn't count. It was just enough to make Dan to tie the set up. Good work. Zongief 
win. He made a quick 2-0 out of that match. We, once again, have ourselves a hell of a match. Loving it. Oh man, sir, I don't care if you can stretch, all right? Once I get in there, I will make you. All right, scrappy scrappies, but hey, it works. We'll take those. I said, look, I got some, uh, got some little throws of my own. Goes for the yoga flow. Gets the overhead. The thing about uh, Geek is it doesn't matter how much you hit him. He only needs... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> he only needs three of those. He's at two. He's going for one more. Uh, he said, screw it. I got V-Trigger. In Russia, a lot of it hurt you. Oh, okay. We we clearly got those. He goes for the EX command lariat or uh, command belt throw. Zess wants no part of this game, and you know what? I don't blame him. I really don't. It's not that easy to uh, to uh, to play him correctly. Um, he's done a good job trying to keep him out of his particular perimeter, but uh, like I said, Dan's is so damn ballsy that he's he's just getting work, man. He goes for the raw activation, missed the extra right there. He has another opportunity. It didn't matter, and he gets the command throw. Two more of those, and it's gonna be death. Ah, he whiffed it, and that's gonna cost him the match, I'm sure. Wait, wait, hold up a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Zongief wins. I do believe we have ourselves a winner. Denzo, bro. Good stuff, man. He said, yo, we out here. <laughs> All right, quick moment. Let's see if we can uh, bring in a new player. No, he's not alive. But he is, so yeah, we're gonna bring a new challenger, Mr. Omega Leg. And then hopefully, Mr. Chef Ozzy will join us as well, which will complete the entire lobby. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get back to the next, uh, next match. Up next is Danza Bro versus Base Chai. Let's go. It's go time. Uh, I'm not sure why I did the thing and stuff like that because I am not playing. I am the host. So, uh, unless Zest wants to uh, give up his turn, we'll have Chad go against Zest. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah. This is definitely going to be a nice match. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Chad go against Zest Dalsum. Um, if memory serves correctly, they've been going um, they've been going back to back, but for the most part, Chad was having Zest numbers. So pretty sure he's been making adjustments. Pretty curious to see how this is going to play out. Hopefully, he doesn't. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of random stuff, so, yeah. But I digress. Kicking off for November 3rd. Really? You have a Nash? I am looking forward to seeing this. Round one. Fight. All right. Zessa's rocking the OG Sim look. 
All right, somebody's clearly been stealing from my playbook. He goes for the hopping and knee. Tries to get the hit confirmed into the EX Moonsault. It's really liking the defense here. Nice. Okay, that was a solid punish off of the uh, Crouching Pierce. Gets the throw. Looking good so far. Just got some anti-air. Oh, that was a solid block. Chad has definitely been doing his homework and so actually he's been playing this uh, pretty much on point. Oh, let's see. Trixie, he gets it. It's what I want to see. He punished that V reversal hard with the throw. Excellent work. Oh, he almost got caught with the mix up. Oh! Is he gonna go for the cross up? Nope. Try to make him whiff. Be careful. Can't be doing an autopilot. Zest gets slides. Now he's got him locked in on the corner, but he don't hold for long. He gets the V ship break. Zest is desperately trying to keep this Nash locked in. Uh, he missed a critical punish action right there. Did not follow up the crouching strong. This gives us an opportunity to be able to seal the deal. Goes through the yoga fire. Gets the block. Tries to get set. He blocks that. Looking good. Looking good. This is like, sir, stay in this corner. He fires back with the critical art. That is just about to get a kill. He uh, clearly has Nash a Nash. Win. I see. Round one. Fight. All right. That was the uh, interesting first game. Oh, clearly, uh, we know how to use the range off of that side kick. This hit confirmed. Try to get him off the whiff. Respectable still. Solid hit confirmed into the beam trigger. Goes for the mix up. That's definitely taking some great life. Punishes. Solid. Oh, that was solid. That is out of my playbook. That says, nah, man, I have to be a Nash, and you are seeing it tonight. Oh, that was exceptionally awesome. Oh. I see, I see. Round two. Round number one goes to face Chad. Fucking popping Nash. Has the back dash, playing solid. Okay, he didn't see that coming. Okay, Quicksilver. Oh, I, we got those? From downtown. Easy there. Wow, I am liking this Nash. I gotta be careful with the uh, Yoga Fire. Waste a meter of the V-Ship break. Not sure that was too wise. That he could potentially make it back. He's back at two bars. Gets him with the medium kick. Like it, like it. Oh, does he get the hit confirmed? Oh, he tried to go in the target combo. He should have went to super, but he still gets the win. Nash wins. Opens up with the uh, medium moonsaw kick. A lot of people who don't know that that's punishable, but Chad is definitely taking full advantage of that. All right. Just goes for the V reversal. Didn't see the throw.
suggest you stay down. Round two. Fight. Okay. Oh, I was actually really saw a back dash. Very instinctive right there. Oh, I don't know how he let himself get hit by that yoga fire, but it's okay. He's been playing this match actually really well, and I'm pretty sure that Zest was not expecting to go against Chad's Nash. Probably didn't even know he had one. Oh, okay. We got teleports. Pretty see uh, curious, uh, curious to see how this is going to go down. All right, he gets the V-ship break. Here comes the uh, potential guest. Oh, he back dash is solid, and he gets it. Nash wins. And just like that, that was three games, really? Okay. So as you can see, we have a new challenger. Omega Red. He'll be up next for after this match of Beach Chad versus Danza. Let's go. That was a really good match, and I'm looking forward to see how Zest is gonna Go back and meditate over that match and make his adjustments. And hopefully you'll get a run back. Uh, look forward to that a little bit later in the stream. Because I, I need to see uh, I need to see if Zest's gonna be able to redeem himself. I was not expecting a pocket Nash at all. Hmm. Was not expecting that. Nice work, man. Seriously. That was actually, it was pretty clean. The execution was on point. A lot of those uh, punishes uh, done with the uh, hard kick, um, uh, basically his flash kick. Uh, that was really solid. Did the, uh, did the V trigger teleport on point. It was good. I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. Desk work just isn't my thing, you know? Round one. Ah, uh, we're back to Cody. I was curious to see some Nash. Too bad. All right, he goes for the hit confirmed. It did not matter. Danza says, man, get those target combos out of here. Eat this lariat. Now eat this command throw. Mm, you gotta be careful with the neutral jumps. Paid off him though. He managed to get the hit confirmed. He goes with the gas. Watch for the pebble. Damn. Danza was, uh, he was working on a win there, and Chad stole that round from him. He takes round number yeah. one. Oh, that was a ballsy jump from Danza. I'm pretty surprised that Chad did not punch to the anti-air. He connects again. Missed the anti-air. That cost him a little bit of health. But all Chad needs is one side hit confirmed. He managed to get that off the roughing kick. Danza cancels the V-trigger. Reversal back in progress. Danza has to be very careful, but all he needs is two command throws. And it's a wrap. This now puts him within striking distance to get one command throw. And Chad will be on the floor, but once again, he steals the round. Cody wins. Bro. 
Miss Cody out here doing work. We gonna be like looking for Dan's on a milk carton somewhere. Like y'all, have you seen? Have you seen this player? <laughs> wow. Round one. Fight. Others, Danza is back in the building. Just addressing a couple of things um, offline. And just like that, Chad was like, how dare you, sir? How dare you get a perfect on me, okay? Uh, yeah, hold this L here. It is now tied up one game apiece. Uh, he tried to get the hit confirmed. He does get it there. But he capitalized on that damage. And he's trying... He's definitely trying to keep Danzo off his game, give him the block, but he has to be careful when he misses a central hit confirms. He's not taking much, and he punches him, gets the pop in the air. One more hit, and he's gonna be stunned. Good tech. All right, Chad is still fight another day, but it is not looking good. That's gonna kill. Oh man, came out swinging with a perfect and then did a reverse stolen round. He's bad. I'm liking these matches this evening. Very, very nice. So that uh Fight. puts the scoreboard at one game apiece. In this first of three set. Danza was fishing for a potential uh, connection in the throw, in the uh, air rather. Managed to get that second time, gets the command grab. Told him again, act like you won't get command grab. Eat this uh, SPD, and that is a wrap for base chat. Yeah, you doing it like that? Round two. I can only imagine when his chiropractor bill will be, man. My, my man would not be getting up in real life. <laughs> That'd be a wrap. Ooh. All right, Chad goes back in there. He tried to challenge him. Danza was ready. Gets the parry. All right, that was a solid punish. He's going to follow up. Optimal. Good okay. Uh, I think he's going to miss an opportunity to stun. That is gonna connect, and this is gonna be definitely Chad. Man, this is going hard. Zongyev with Zongyev. Oh man, it was going hard. Like, damn. players have been playing this entire set the um, offensive momentum has been pretty even 
Hit confirms have been on point. There have been a few misses here and there, but for the most part, they've been uh, making really good use of their resources, solid punishes, and are not afraid to scrap. You know, we've not seen these players spend a whole lot of time uh, staying opposite into the screen. They've been going hard and just like hardcore bodying each other. Oh, yo, clip that! My man said, yo, watch me parry this. That was wild. Man, got parries. No face chat, man. You already know how this game is played. Uh, Danza just needs two command throws, and it's a wrap for Chad. He just does not have the help you know, to, to survive that. All right, just about you, man. Chad is slowly chipping away meter. He gets the V-ship break. He gets the nine. Oh, he's so lucky he did not go into critical art. This is still going to kill. Oh, oh commentated the curse. It did not, but that did. Yo. I was so certain I was gonna go. Damn, my man, you you know that you're on notice when people are command throwing you within six seconds of the match. That's when you know it's serious. They're like, yo, I don't like your face. Alright, I don't like your character. It's gonna bother you. Dan's is fishing so hard to get in the zone. Oh, and a rare miss from Dave Chad. This did not miss, so he's gonna take full capitalization of this. One more hit. He can get the stun, he gets denied. Is Danza gonna seal the deal? Will he get the win or Chad steal it? Oh! He does. Yo, base Chad. Coming out swinging, the mayor, ladies and gentlemen. He is still in there. Base chat. Yo. Oh man dropping bars and pebbles and pipes. <laughs> but he's not really dropping his combos. That's what right. matters. Once again, six seconds expire off the clock, and he's early. Uh, yo, once again, he does it back to back with a triple play of parries. Yo, that's scary, man. Forget nature being scary, dance is even scary. Oh, he tried to chip away for Grey Life, and that would be a real good tactic that Chat might want to actually consider in the near future. He's trying to chip away this player's Grey Hub. It is not going to help this time. Welcome to death. Damn. Round two. Round number two, folks. <laughs> That was solid. He, he looked for the option, and Danza was ready with the punish. Chad's got to get out of this corner, or he's going to be dead very quickly. One more throw, and it's a wrap. Yeah. You don't do my mans like that. Danza is on the board. He takes the win. Yo, Danza, bro. Good shit. That was nice. That was very nice. All right. Let's see if we can get in our last player for the session since apparently he's online, but I don't see him. So we'll have to tag him in the next one. Next up is Omega Red versus Danza Bro. Let's go, guys.
Oh, man. Good matches all around. I want to give a special shout out tonight to Base Chad. Not only did he roll out uh, a formidable Cody, but then he whipped out as a special treat a pocket Nash. Played him exceptionally well. Was on point. Wasn't really playing scrappy. Like, you know, you keep playing like that, my friend. You will definitely be able to hang with a lot of big dogs out there. Shows a lot of promise, so good stuff. It's really, really solid, man. Once again, if you are new to the channel, if you happen to just be passing by, do us a solid, hit the follow button. We are trying to get to 50. Once we get to 50, we're going to try to roll out some other stuff, you know, like to roll out, like, you know, potentially we'll see, you know, do some giveaways here and there and whatnot. Um, definitely something to do in the near future. But for now, we just want to present you with some nice, solid content featuring the players from the Golden Slash Platinum Fist Dojo. We hope that you enjoyed this match. We got Danza Fight. now finally bringing on his pocket character, Mr. Birdie, going against Omega Red's Akuma. Let's go. Okay. One more. Well, I don't know, man. You you already beat the living snot out of him. Quickly takes game number one, or round number one, rather, in his first of three set. Mega Red that I'm used to seeing. He goes with a punish. He's trying to keep uh, Dan's birdie locked in. Probably a bad tactical move. Let him out in the corner. Oh, was he? I thought he was going to get a DP, but that's just as effective. Final round. Solid stuff there. Alright, Dan's just trying to open up. Birdie's the type of character that you have to be really careful. I mean, he looks like a bumbling idiot, but he's got great normal. He has a really solid anti-air. You already know that he hurts with his damage. Uh, he was like such a solid character for basically since the, his introduction in the series. You already know there's a lot of people out there. Uh, Mena RD plays him really well. We used to have another guy named LPN that uh, heavily used him. There's a lot of good people out there, man that have been doing work with Birdie. You don't really see him as much, but rest be assured, they out there still doing their work. And the ends have made quick work of uh, Mr. Omega there. Let's see Round if uh, Omega can bounce back Fight. in game number two. All right, he tries to open up. Oh, gotta, gotta watch those whip moves. Danza is trying to get his strategy to work here. Let's see if it pays off. No, it almost did. That was all parry. He has managed to be locked in court. to crush counter, and that is death. I say he did. Round two. You gotta watch out for the banana peels. They are tricksy. Oh, Mega missed a critical anti-air DP there. Do like this flow that he has. He's good doing mix up. He punishes. Solid. One more guess. He gets it. Oh, sir, you cannot be dropping that against Danza. You might you might lose this. Oh, one more guess, sir. Uh, I don't think.
don't think you should do raw activation there. You cannot be doing those. Birdie um, He had that, man. That's the thing. When you make these type of uh, tactical errors, I know a lot of times it seems like it's a good move to be like, oh, great, I do raw activation. I could probably follow at oh, uh, with the Oki. When the other opponent has meter, you have to be prepared for retaliation. Round and that's one. exactly what Danza did. Fight. That allowed him to steal the round and uh, go up another game. All right, so now Danza's uh, whipped out a new tool. He's been effectively knocking Omega out of the air. He might have to actually uh, consider switching to Ken. Probably would have did it in the second game after he lost, since uh, we do not have character lock uh, for these sets. Oh, he gets up the crush counter, and that is death. Pop up in the air, and he's like, oh, how much time do I have? Huh, perfect. Dead. Oh, he's not playing around. He's already trying to yoink him out of the air. All right, dirty cross up there, almost succeeded. Get some look at a high fierce punch. Alright, stubby normals that will work, but they are they doing something. Oh, he tried to go for the cross up. Danza is totally ready. He's gonna punish him hard for this. Wakes up with the DP. It's really effective. Oh, ho, ho. That was pretty solid. It catches him with the medium tattoo and ties it up. Alright, Danza finally manages to connect with the chain. And he's trying to get him locked in the corner, and he finally has succeeded. And just like that, his meter has going down so fast with like 22 seconds left on the clock man he's almost dead mm. dirty 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 birdie wins oh man i got a birdie folks he's out here doing work damn that was a quick 3-0 i think that omega might have to bring ken back out to play just saying you might have to do that. All right. Who else we got up in here? Uh, nobody else. All right. So next up, it's only fair to leave Danza in the winner's seat. He's now going to go head to head against Zest Light. Let's go. Mm. Let's do this indeed. Speaking of doing this, feel free to hit the follow button if you're new to the channel. This way we can keep you abreast of all the upcoming highlights. Hope you're enjoying the stream featuring the players from the Golden Fist Dojo. Stay tuned for more exhibition matches set to debut later this month. It'll be first to 10, folks, just so you know. All right, several loading seconds later, we have our next match queued up. Once again, Round if you one. just now popped in, we got Fight. Danza Pro who has tagged out Zangi. He's brought out Vega to play against Zest Life Zendalsum. Let's see how he holds up. Oh, okay, he's trying to be tricksy. I like, to, I like to switch. Danza is trying to shank Thousand. Uh oh, can't be jumping against him like that. He 
Danzo was actually making pretty good work of Zest Life and hit really hard with the, uh, <laughs> the rolling attack. Still manages to take the round. I was pretty close there. All right, Zest draws first blow with an initial attack, catches him with the long-standing roundhouse. Oh, man, Danza tried to uh, catch him hard with that, but he does succeed with the command throw. He switched out real quick for his claw. Trixie uh, tactics are definitely in progress. Oh, he did it again. Yo, the reactions. Yo, Danza is tricky, man. You have to watch him. Oh, he tried to get him from back. Catches up. Uh, he almost caught him. He's gonna have to work a little bit more on the precision. Uh, there was no reason why that, that particular grab should have been dropped, but it doesn't matter because he's already taken the first game of this first to three set. Round one. I'm loving that these guys have bought up that pocket characters are playing, man. We got a pretty formidable uh, Nash from Base Chad. Danza's got a pocket Vega now. I'm liking this, man. I'm liking this. All right, the solid reversal. The base is done on point there. Danza fires back. He's going to go for the optimal punish. I like how Danza is actually maintaining a good use of pokes. Um, he's not doing a whole lot of randomness. Much of the stuff that he's actually been doing, he's been able to capitalize. He was able to get a solid air uh, slash there. All right. Zest Life has no problem burning resources for V-Reversal. It still did not allow him to contain that win. And he ended up taking the first loss against Danza Bro. Round number two is underway. Oh, okay, we got Trixie Trixies with the uh, V-Skill one. I'm surprised that Danza is not making use of the fence. I mean, it's only fair. If you remember traditional Street Fighter 2 law, when you're in this stage, you must use the gate. What's going on here? You're, you're like breaking tradition. In fact, the only thing he's on right now is now becoming Flambe Vega. Toasted Spanish Ninja. Oh, let's try to escape. He did not follow through. I guess he wasn't confident to uh, go through the break. Uh oh, this is not looking good. He's going to go for the command throw, but Zest denies him. It's now tied up Final one round wow. piece. Final round here in game number two. Dan's is wasting no time trying to catch uh, his S with this hard slash. Those particular moves you have to be very careful with because they're not like super unsafe. Just to throw you out some frame data. Um, the slash is basically negative seven on the jab version, negative six on medium punch, and it's minus four for the uh, hard version with the uh, hard punch. Win. So if uh, Zess actually knew the data and he sees that move, he has more than enough time to punish uh, the short and uh, mid version of those attacks. As it makes quick work of uh, Zess and around, he's now advancing Round into game one. two. This would now put him at right. set point in his first of three match. If you just now tuning in, we got Danza versus Zess Life. Danza normally means uh, Zangi. Decides to tag out his character to have Vega come out to play. And he's doing a pretty good job, actually, uh, making Zess, like, struggle here. Zess is doing a lot of uh, scrappy uh, jabs. It is paying off. It's working, so I can't even hate. It's pretty good with uh, 20 seconds nearly left on the clock. He made quick work of him. Um, round two in progress. That was, like, crazy. Oh, oh, all I saw was... Danza's light meter slowly getting shipped away. Next thing you know, it's like, tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, it's done. I 
Nah, uh, these guys are just going hard body now. They're like, yo, you know what? I don't care about frame data. I don't care about what's not safe. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you. I'll let it rock. All right, good solid goal. Danza was not expecting that. He finally goes ahead with the YOLO move, and that was kind of a waste, sir. I would have actually went ahead and looked for the hit confirm and then activate it. Now you have no meter. And you know what? It didn't matter. He got the win. He gets one on the board. Sometimes things you just get a little scrappy, but you know what? Like it is what it is. He's not letting the sweep happen. He's got one on the board. He only needs to win one more game to tie it up. He definitely has the potential. Let's see how he does as game four gets underway in this first of three set. Round one. Ooh. Once again, that's how you know, man. People be going hard. You're like, yo, eat this hard far slash. Yo, his Vega is like kind of dangerous. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, he knew that was unsafe. Now he's he almost got the punish, but he whipped. He just did a little bit too early. Danza just needs to be a little bit more patient. I respect the offensive, uh, you know, intensity, but he might, yeah, he might need Round to consider two. dialing down just a little bit because if Zess is smart and sees what he's doing, he can easily turn the tide and nerf that momentum. Danza is now within striking distance of closing out this set. I just think that Zest is not used to this type of offensive pressure. That's the that's the bad thing that Sims have to worry about is basically just being smothered with constant offense. Like Danza can like it's like he has firecrackers in his pants. He cannot he can't sit still. He's like, yeah, I get hit, don't care. Don't don't worry about it. Vega win. He's like, I won. That's all that's all that matters. I can't say anything to him. And he gets another win on the board for the set. My man out here looking to scrap. Alright, so hold tight. We're gonna bring in our uh, next challenger. I'm gonna cut to a qu very quick break and we will be right back. Don't hit start. We'll be right back, folks.
Okay, and we are back. Welcome. If you're just now tuning in, this is the Golden Fist Dojo Exhibition. We have a lot of our solid players. As you can see, they are quite formidable in the right hands. Many of them have already achieved gold. Uh, some have already been gold. They've obviously deranked. So we don't hold it against them when they do derank because they can play. You're about to find out just how well they can play against each other because we now have Omega Red at deck. He's now going to try his hand against Zest Light. So just give us a moment. We're going to actually have both players actually get started and get in the way in the next 20 seconds. All right, both players are just getting settled in. Let's do this. If you're just not tuning in, you guys missed some phenomenal matches. Thankfully, we will have the video on demand. We are also co-streaming on YouTube. We should also be running concurrently there for those of you that are subscribed over there. But of course, our primary channel is here on Twitch. And now we got the first match underway. Enjoy. Meg is already off to a much more solid start. Actually, he's opening against Zest. We just need to maintain his patience as well as his confidence, which is hit confirms. Uh, going against Zest, who knows how to uh, effectively punish uh, many of the characters that he's actually fought in past sessions. So far, he's doing a good job actually maintaining the offensive uh, pressure he needs to uh, do. Solid chuckle there off of that V-Trigger uh, fireball. Tries to go for another punishment right there. All right, he gets the teleport. Punch that, put him in the corner. Yeah, he might actually end up losing. He escapes. Mega's now in the corner. This is not looking good. Round two. That wasn't a bad effort. That was uh, definitely a, a much better composed uh, performance from Omega. It almost landed him a win. Oh, he's going hard. But Zess was ready. He managed to get the throw. Omega's sitting on a healthy lead. He does not have to do much. He doesn't have to try to overwhelm. All he just needs to do is bait and punish. And he can contain this win. It's very important to realize when you're on health lead, you do not need to do that much. As the saying goes, say less. This goes for the roar of the activation. Not sure if that's going to pay off. He is sitting on critical. Alright, Omega's still in there. Fight. We in there. Zest is fishing for an opportunity to land an attack. Omega manages to... Uh, Get a light hit. Oh, actually, right there. Gets the uh, crush counter. Misses the punish there. And Zest manages to get the evasion. Both players are sitting on nearly four resources. Who's going to get the first optimal punish? All right, that's effective. Zest is clearly being cognizant of the openings that... Um, been made available to him. He keeps fishing for uh, high and low mix-ups. Goes for the slide. Goes for the 30 grab. He doesn't need to do much. He's gonna get the slide. Omega denies him. Ah, uh, man. 
gotta watch those hoes. Watch the feet. Who stole that from him? Damn. <laughs> Pretty curious if um, when Chad's up to play, if he's gonna bring out Dirty Rog. I think that his uh, his one. Nash would be a much better performance. So let's see if he brings him out when the uh, when he's up back up to play. He's doing work, man. I gotta give him props. Just about even. Once again, Zest goes for the hard V trigger activation. He does a swing and a miss with the major yoga buff ball. He evades with the teleport, tries a fire, swing and a miss. He does get the throw. Didn't see that coming. Oh man, Omega missed a hard cross up. He paid for that with his life and gets thrown around like groceries. Round two. The thing about Sim is that, like, you know, not discrediting him, he doesn't have to do much. All he has to do is body you on the ground, poke you, slide, get the throw, which he didn't see coming. So yoga fire, you just have to jump because you cannot get over of that. Then he teleports, does a mix up, watch, rinse, repeat. Next thing you know, you're dead. And that's basically what Zess is doing. He's playing a lot more cleaner now. He's being a lot less scrappy about his moves. He's evading the normals. Like, he doesn't have to do much. All he has to do is keep you out of the zone that he sets. And he is doing a pretty good job controlling the space. He's only lost about maybe 35% of his health. He's in full control. Ah, uh, not that time, though. And now... Death. <laughs> Dolphin. I think that um, I think that Omega should bring out Ken. Just as a Round reminder one. for those that are playing it on the stream, Fight. character lock is not on. If you're not doing well on a set, you're more than welcome to go back in the lobby and switch characters. This is not a character lock exhibition. Now tuning in, we got a series of, uh, of mid silvers to gold players uh, based on their own right. They are respectively killers. They uh, are not afraid to utilize their tools. They've demonstrated a lot of confidence and uh, better knowledge with their uh, matchups. And we hope that you enjoy these, uh, these exhibition sessions we have. Today. Whoa! <laughs> He almost got tortured. That needs to be clipped. That was like, uh, that was pretty interesting. He threw, a, he threw in a fireball and he almost died to that. Oh man. What are the odds of seeing that again? That was so wild.
And it's gonna be impudent and everything? That's like harsh. in a match and speaking of match right after this we're gonna take a very short break we're just gonna restart the stream we have those uh first world speedy problems and um yeah we're just gonna be uh reboot it so we will be back in approximately two minutes stay tuned be right back.